folks, I found the next best thing in Paladins. It's literally a pit. To be more specific, there's a new map called Toxic, and what is brought with it in the center of the map is a little pit. It's almost like your own mini Aerie from Game of Thrones. And if you're a Makoa, and I suggest if you're gonna play the test maps this time around, take a Makoa, because you're gonna have a blast every time that pit opens. And that's something to mention actually, that this is the first time that they've got this sort of like time mechanic where things are working in a map that are almost like animated. So every time the clock chimes in this map, I don't know what the clock is, what, what exactly is chiming here. There seems to be a tower in the middle, but when that chimes, the little pit, will, its cover will roll back. And then you can dunk people down into that pit. Actually, one of the times when I was with Koa, I fell in with the guy, but I was like, I'm giving sacrifice to the pit. I mean, there's no textures on this map. It is a test map, so Toxic the test map, the Onslaught map. Actually, this map is probably one of my favorite maps I've seen for a while. I know it's an Onslaught map, but it's got great leveling. You can get pretty much to every level, no matter what sort of mobility you have. So there's no way you can just get with an Eevee or a Dragos or something to get stuck up there. Or I didn't find it at least, or it's a very small area. I almost thought I was caught in that optical illusion painting. Is it Gaudi? I don't really remember. But it, it, I think it's because like the color of the tower, whatever it is, is like sandy. And it's quite, quite winding around the edges. So there's one side where you're basically fighting on the balcony. The other side, there's, a, there's another cliff to drag people off. But in the center, yep, there's a pit going on and that is really fun I'm not gonna lie I haven't tried to knock anybody else into it because I think only Makoa kind of benefits from it because it's so small that you need to literally slam dunk them in with your hook into the pit but if you're Ash and you try and knock somebody back it's a bit harder although I did a shell spin into it a few times when I was testing it out on the Makoa which uh, is a bit embarrassing but also I mean the spawns are pretty much out in the open and you can't be a Knesset just camping on the back lines you do actually have to engage with the points the actual point area itself is quite long and there's area to cover, there's like pillars and things. And actually, the fighting I've had in there has been hectic, but you've been able to pull back, get a shield up, hold back the lines, fight the enemies off, and then join back into the fight. This map, I really do hope, gets a texture. Not just because of the pit, but it does feel like a good map as well. Just the, the general dynamic of this Onslaught map, it feels good. And I, I do feel that they shoehorned in a bit the old survival mode Maps, the Primal Court and Snowball Fall Junction are okay, but they're not quite the dedicated Onslaught maps, but this here is good. I like it a lot. Let me know in the comment section below who else is going to go into the test maps and sacrifice people to the pit. I think people were legitimately not picking because I was picking the Makoa, because I had to play three games, and I was like, pick Makoa, like, insta-pick Makoa, because I want this. I want to drop people into the pit. And then three games, people were just like, screw this, I'm out of here. And it was ridiculously annoying, and every time that happened, I then got put into Vex, which is the next map that I'm also going to talk about. So Vex is a bit more of a regular map. There's nothing that's sort of moving parts. There's nothing like this where the clock sort of strikes. The pit will open and the pit closes for... I'm guessing there must be an actual timing for the Toxin map. I'm not sure what it is, but it opens up probably every like two minutes or something and stays open for only like maybe a minute. I don't really know. It's not very long, so you've got a very short period to drop people into the pit. On Vex, there is one side. It's got like a lava fall, a waterfall of lava coming out of one side, which is fun with a whole area to knock people back off. I've been Torvald ulti over there quite a few times, which is quite annoying. One of the cool things when you're playing Drogos or something that's quite maneuverable, there's a podium which is very easy to shoot at, so there are there's a downside of going onto that podium, and it's tiny, but if you're a Drogos or say you're an Eevee and you jump up there, you can shoot from the top of that podium down onto people until they notice you. Now, I think that's a good way of approaching it. There's not like a massive area where people that don't have vertical mobility can't get to, but there's just a little zone which is easy to fire at if you notice them and is accessible just to those super maneuverable champions. But I mean, it seems to work pretty well. This one's actually less textured than the Toxic map. The Toxic map's got the weird sandy texture, even though they're sort of the default textures as well. But I've had a bit of fun in this one as well. There's sort of a one side where if you're a heavy damage dealer, you might be going up there like a Charlene or somebody and shooting down into the point. So there's like a ledge. And there's lots of ramps everywhere, so people with little mobility can get around. There's like a nice flanking route on one side, which is like tunnels, which you fight along, and you try and flank around, but to try and flank around it, you'll often go into people because it's quite a narrow corridor. So it works out quite well there. 
On the spawn room side, there's a podium in the front, and you can see basically the first half of the map of your side of the point, so you can shoot into that, which is quite annoying to deal with. Even a sky can jump up to the enemy's spawn little uh, camping zone. Basically, you have to jump up on top of crates to get to the top and then run around ramps, but it's good that it isn't just completely cut off so you can't flank those snipers, but obviously it's going to be easier to get up there as an Eevee and Drox as somebody that's quite maneuverable. The point itself in the center as well it has this big sort of pillar thing in it and you can sort of fight around it, but the actual point itself is pretty damn open. I've definitely had a few fun games on Vex. It does just generally work. Actually, I think both of these maps are good maps, but it's just hard to compete with the power of the pit and what Toxic is offering this time around, and I do very much like Toxic as a map and the idea that you have something animated in the mid-game. Now, I don't know whether they can bring this to Siege maps, like the Siege maps coming forwards might be a bit more hard to balance that, but I mean, having hazards that open up during the match and having something animated and having like the ringing, it just brings the, the map to life a bit more. I feel that a lot of the maps in Paladins, the older ones, are a bit static. I mean, the new map, uh, does have like the fidget spinner mining tools and stuff and and you see all like the saw coming down and, and I mean it has a lot of moving parts and it's got the lava so it feels a lot more alive and that's brought a lot to the table and I feel that actually both these maps Vex does have the lava as well flowing down there but having the timed hazards just brings it to life I do wonder whether you could even time partially blocking off zones to flank around by having a pit fall out I mean that probably wouldn't work but they could take this to quite a few levels with having these hazards open up. If you guys were going to add some more hazards to the game, A, would you do it? B, what hazards would you add? Would you add big mace spikes that like slam down? Would you have the closing in walls? Maybe even blocking off some of the entrances? Would you have like a string trap that would drag people up into the air and stun them? I mean, there's lots of opportunities for new traps in the game. But what do you think about them and what would you think would be a cool trap? You should let me know in the comments below. I don't know actually whether on Toxic they probably need to make the pit slightly bigger so you can knock somebody back into it from an ash or with any other sort of knockback because it's quite difficult to get the target into the, the pit if you're not a Makoa just literally dunking it like I've said before. For. But I can see some spike pits opening up, lava traps, swinging axes, the Mario blocks coming down, the crushes and crushing your head if you're under it at the wrong time. I could see these hazards going a long way and, and it's pretty cool and just makes the maps more alive. So definitely check out the test maps around this time and get onto pit, get that Makoa, drop somebody and dunk somebody into the pit or even take somebody with knockback, take an Ash, take a Cassie, try and knock them back into that pit. And then, I mean, it's a bit more skilled if you're a Cassie because it's like target practice like knocking them back just at the right moment and the right time without them being able to jump away takes a bit of skill. Anyway what does everybody else think about these two maps I've showed off today? Be sure to let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video hit that like button, subscribe for more of my content and I'll see you all next time. I'd just like to say again that I'm going to be at Insomnia 61 this year. Uh, it's like a UK gaming fair and I made a video on it. If you want to come down and meet me then I'll be there at the MSI booth. I'll be streaming for two days as well and I'll be probably playing a few games and if you want to suggest a game I made a video a couple of days ago and you can like or add the games that you might want me to play in that video and I'll probably make up a stream schedule at the end of the week. Thanks for watching everybody, Joshino.